Bringing up a child with autism can be challenging. Jonathan Petty's parents spent years trying to make him fit in, but now they've decided to celebrate Jonathan for simply being Jonathan. And the result? A happy, charismatic and extremely talented young man. I started playing when I was about three or four and uh, it was kind of exciting listening to some tapes and CDs on the way for some kind of composers type of thing, you know, classical composers like Mozart, Beethoven and Chopin and stuff like that. Jonathan is both blind and autistic and his parents say music has been his anchor. When he was younger it was a, um, a comfort blanket, definitely. And um, especially if we'd been out or something, or if he'd had a very busy day, he'd come home straight away, go to the piano, and um, play. And um, I think it was very much something, a secure world that he understood, whereas everything else outside was confusing. Jonathan can listen to a complex piece of music just a few times, then play it note perfect. These days, he mostly just plays at school. I play jazz with a jazz band group at my high school. That's why that's the school I go to, and uh, and I played a uh, few jazz ones with a jazz band group, and they give us a CD to help us practice a few bits. About one in ten people who have autism have a standout talent, often in music or maths. Those with astonishing ability are known as autistic savants. We basically realised it was probably autistic savant when we watched the movie Rain Man. And um, that was when he was quite young and he was gifted at the piano. But when we saw um, the character that Dustin Hoffman played, there were so many parallels and things that rang bells, it just wasn't funny. Was like, this is Jonathan. It's interesting, though, yeah. because people think that music is really important to him, and it is in a way that breathing is important, but it's not... It's not... Like, people say it's his passion, but it's not. It's what he is. And so he doesn't actually play the piano very much at the moment because he can do that. He's got other interests now. Yep. TV, CDs, PlayStation and hanging with his brother William. OK, do you want, to, do you want me to make the soldier um, laugh, cry, get uh, rage or scream? Oh, laugh. You want laugh? Yeah. Blind from birth, Jonathan enjoys the games, even though he can't see them. I mean, if there's anything sort of melodramatic or big or anything like that, he just loves it to pieces, but uh, for some reason, I think he just likes the high emotions. So with Metal, Ge with Metal Gear Solid, they've just got the most unbelievably cheesy movies in between the games, and Jonathan just loves to watch those, so it's basically just like watching a movie together. I like the Vulcan Ravens laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Autism is a developmental disability that affects social and communication skills. People with autism often struggle to make sense of the world. Jonathan spends even more time in his room than most teenagers. Quite often the problem is with us, not with him, is that you sort of you, you put how you want him to be onto him, but when to him it's not a problem. He's never been invited to a birthday party, he doesn't know that. And so and we're the ones going, oh, he's never been invited to a birthday party. <laughs> so, yeah, you don't want to make your problem his problem. Some blind person once said that they'd like the right, what was it, the opportunity, opportunity to be equal but the right to be different. And I always come back to that as Jonathan has the right to be different. Jonathan's a huge Sesame Street fan and he can recite a staggering array of facts about the series. Season 33 had 50 episodes and seasons 34 to 39 who now had 26 episodes so and so far, and so far they have done 4186 episodes of oh, Sesame Street. Gradually over the years we've just learnt to celebrate the way he is and just go with the flow. Sesame Street is a production of a children's television workshop. 
When we were oh. with Jonathan, it felt like he was trying out personas. An American movie star one minute, no, then a jazz musician. That was the thing they, did. they used to do at the end of each program when I did it for the children's television workshop there. He's different, our family's different, we're different, <laughs> and, and just enjoying that and helping him to fit into a regular environment. Have you told William that we're going? Part of that no. is heading off to Saturday sport. Goalball is a team sport played by athletes who are blind. All you have to do is throw, you know, throw the ball and like, you know, like, like this, and it comes to like the goal, and your job is to stop them from getting it in. There are three players aside, and they have to use the sound of the bells inside the ball to judge its movement and position. I enjoy getting goals, keeping an eye on it, and by lying down, so I can catch it and like, you know, like that, and, and it's a game. I've seen people can come as well if they have blindfolds on so they can't see. Jonathan's been a regular on the team for several years. I guess we always want to expand his horizons. His choice would be to never do anything new. And when he was little, we would always be just pushing him a little bit. There's this balance between keeping him where he's secure and comfortable, but actually pushing his boundaries a little bit all the time. Being at mainstream schools has helped that process. At high school, he's just been great. And it's interesting, I think, I think our children often blossom later than children who have no identified special needs. And I, I used to think that, you know, he hasn't got anywhere by the time he's five, basically we're a failure and he's not going to get anywhere. But in fact, high school has been the time when he's really come through and it's been very exciting. Jonathan has achieved level two in NCEA and is doing well in areas like music and speech making. And once he leaves school? We'd like him to have work, but that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is for him to feel happy in his life and to yeah, just be happy.